Welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. It's your homie Cody GT and in today's video my boys we have so much to go over and so many things to do but I think you saw the title to it so you know what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna go ahead and do some Flame Sakitama gameplay. So spoilers in this video if you did not see the stream or weren't there in my last stream we did go ahead and pull Flame Sakitama on there and it was extremely hype. Now talking about the stream, let me take a minute to say thank you to everybody that came out to it and was there to witness the pulls and a little bit of gameplay. Um, that stream was so incredibly hype and so much fun and I appreciate everybody coming out. It means so much to me and I cannot wait to go ahead and do another stream probably this Sunday of this week. I don't have a time just yet, but I'll go ahead and update you guys in another video um, when that stream is going to be as far as the time goes. Now, before we go ahead and jump into the gameplay also, there's a lot to go over just as far as announcements and goes. Uh, and announcements and goes announcements and things like that so we're gonna go ahead and jump into that first and then we'll get right into the gameplay so uh, speaking of announcements the first thing I wanted to go over is there's gonna be a new focus supply coming to the global side of Honkai Impact 3 here uh, very soon I forget the date okay so it's gonna be September 7th is when it's gonna be here and it's gonna go all the way through the 14th now I'm gonna do a video um, specifically about this focus supply because it's um, featuring the 11 sacred relic which is supposed to be for Celestial Him. So I'm gonna go more into detail about that in, in another video. Just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that, that the Focus Supply is coming, and I'll go more into detail in another video. Now, the next thing I wanted to go over before we jump into the gameplay is the Armada. So if you were at the stream, you um, saw that I was going ahead, I mentioned that I wanna go ahead and create my own Armada. So that is going to be happening. And in the stream, I told you guys I had two names that I was gonna go ahead and choose from as far as the Armada name was going to be. So the two names I am deciding between is the first name, the Akatsuki. I was thinking that, about that name. And then the second name was Jaeger. So those are the two names, Armada Akatsuki and Armada Jaeger. So in the comment below, let me know which name you would rather have. And if you want to join, everybody is uh, able to join and I'll accept anybody that wants to join my Armada and it will be a great time and we will try to make it the best Armada on the global side of Honkai Impact 3. So that is the second part of the announcement that I wanted to go over. Um, so the new focus apply is coming. I'll go more into detail about that in another video. And I am creating my own Armada. The two names I'm choosing from is the Akatsuki and Jaeger. So, those are the two names. Let me know in the comments below which one you want to go ahead and have. And if you want to join, let me know that in the comments below as well. So before we go ahead and jump into the gameplay, let's go ahead and check out Flame Sakitama. As you can see, she is my Valkyrie character right there in the front. And I have to say this right off the bat. I'll go on record by saying this. Miko was my most favorite Valkyrie. I think Flame Sakitama has taken her spot. Flame Sakitama is such a fun Valkyrie and fits my gameplay style and I just I love her so much and how she plays and what she brings to the table and her look her aesthetics everything about Flame Sakitama is spot on for me so I wanted to go over her uh, weapon and her stigmata that I have on her right now and then take her into some gameplay so right now I have the void blade on her when her weapon does come the one that's uh, applicable to her I am gonna go for that one um, but uh, I believe it shows it right here the weapon recommendation yeah the um, floored Sakura um, when that weapon does come out this one right here I will be going for that one for sure whenever it's in a focus supply um, but right now I have the void blade on her um, for right now so and I think aesthetically it, it works really well I think it looks good aesthetically um, and then for the stigmata build right now I have the Kira top the Nua mid and the Kira bottom um, the Kira top uh, just because it does elemental damage of fire, um, which are increased by 8%. Uh, the Nua mid, uh, because it's going to increase fire damage by 1% for every combo hit generated, stacks up to 60 times. So you can really get a high percentage there. And the Kira bottom, so after a successful ultimate evasion, fire uh, damage are all increased by 8% for 5 seconds. 
successfully triggering the ability again will refresh the duration time so uh, you can see I'm really focusing on the elemental fire damage here when it comes to uh, the Sakitama so and then for oh and I already went over the weapons so those are the weapons and the build that I have going for her right now and she's just been performing beautifully for me now I did mention that this video is gonna have spoilers on what else I pulled because of the team build that I have around here but I'm also gonna try a different team build as well but I want to show you one that I've been really enjoying when it comes to um, flame Saki Thomas so let me go ahead and let me just jump to just a regular story actually uh, let me go over to an event really quickly with that being said as well when I do live stream next time I will be live streaming these two co-op events with you guys so you guys can go ahead and join me on that and it should be a really good time um, so I'm saving my co-op levels as you can see I haven't done them at all um, you can see that one hasn't been done at all and this one hasn't been done at all as well so uh, when I live stream on Sunday I want to go ahead and do this with you guys so we can do some co-op and it should be a very good time but anyways <laughs> moving on moving on um, perfect let's go ahead and take this event on we'll have type advantage that'll be fantastic so let's just go ahead and jump into master one doesn't really matter and we'll jump into here perfect okay so the team I'm gonna show you the team build that I've been enjoying the most so far with flame Sakitama and then I'll just go ahead and jump into um, uh, jump into the gameplay so the team build and this is where spoilers comes in I did pull celestial him on stream as well last multi it was extremely hype if you haven't go check it out it was such a good time uh, but the team build I've been enjoying a lot lately is celestial him uh, let's see here dimensional break and flame Sakitama and the way I've been using this team is I will go ahead and get celestial him um, we will do the um, ultimate evasion or if I can get the uh, ultimate off I'll go ahead and do the ultimate as well and now I have Oath of Judah so I'll do the weapon skill if I have enough SP and then I'll take out dimensional break I'll use dimensional break switch skill and then I'll go ahead straight into flame Sakitama and start doing damage there and it just really the cohesiveness and the way it is built uh, works out really well as far as damage output and being too able to apply the elemental damage uh, for a longer duration because of dimensional breaks switch skill that is in place so with that being said let's go ahead and I took a lightning Emperor's friend to get some more SP so let's go ahead and show this off here and uh, keep in mind I am gonna do a um, a video my next video is gonna be on celestial him so this is not a celestial him video this is um, I'm just bringing her as a team so um, but the next video is going to be specifically uh, focusing on Celestial Him. Right now, I'm just trying to gather up some SP. Let me get that. Let me get this. Perfect. Um, let me see if I can get another SP. Another SP. I want to get one more, and I think that'll be good. You know what? I think we're good. So let me go ahead and show it. So I'll do the ultimate. There we go. I'll drop this down. I'll do the switch skill, and then I'll take out Flame Sakitama, and then we'll go ahead and put in work with her there. All right, and then and the way Flame Sakitama works is on every fourth hit for her, you want to get that bubble um, and click on it and get that right there. So right there, that bubble, you want to hit it there. That's where she's going to do the most amount of damage. But that is what allows her gauge to fill up that's above her health right there. That gauge bar, and I didn't get to properly show it off, so I'll do another gameplay, but that gauge bar right there, when you do that fourth hit and you hit that um, orange bubble that pops up, that allows her to start um, filling up her gauge bar. Now that gauge bar allows her to output more elemental damage. So you definitely want to get that as high as it can and it stacks the higher you get it up, the higher elemental damage she can do. Um, so you want to definitely try and stack that up as much as possible. So let's go ahead, let's jump back into it. Oh, oh, no, I have enough. Let me go ahead. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> let's go ahead and jump right back into it and this time. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, switch up the team. So that's the team build that I've been enjoying the most um, and has been really working out for me. So let me go ahead and just switch the team really quickly. Let me just bring uh, Lightning Empress just to get more SP. Bring another Lightning Empress friend and let's jump right back into it. And this time, I'm gonna take Flame Sakitama out from the beginning so I could show her combinations and the way she really works because her gameplay style is a little bit different and a little bit tricky, but once you get it down, she is a, such a staple, such a staple, and she does so much damage. Um, so here you go. So here is the fourth hit, and then that bubble right there, you want to hit it. Now you can see the gauge bar going up. Now you want to continue doing that because the gauge bar is going to go down gradually if you don't continue 
to get that combo off right there. Another way you can get the combo um, is her combo attack here. Is where you hit it once, you jump, and then you slash. That's going to go ahead and leave a mark on the enemy. But it also closes the distance for you. So if you're far away, you can actually close the distance and get to that person or the enemy uh, at it in, a, in a short amount of time. And you can still still get that um, orange bubble to pop up to where you can click on that and then you can see the enemies are marked now and you can go ahead and do more fire damage and so when you go ahead and hit them you're gonna be able to do more fire damage now what I want to show off at this time is her ultimate which to me in my opinion is one of the best looking ultimates in the game right now let me go ahead and show that off right now there you go and it is so devastating her ultimate it allows you to do so much damage and it just it really is an effective effective ultimate and you can just see you just really melt the health of all the enemies and uh, really just take them out in no time so that is a bit about flame sakitama and what she brings to the table as far as her combos go now what i didn't really get to show off is that she's one of the uh i think she is the only valkyrie that can evade and keep her combo going at the same time so when you evade it doesn't interrupt her combo you can actually keep that combo going and it doesn't interrupt so that is something that's very unique with her and once you get that down packed as well that's something that becomes very devastating and you can really use flame sakitama in such an effective way um and if she makes you know being able to evade and hit at the same time just a lot of fun to really get down and master but that is a quick flame sakitama gameplay and the way i use her and the team builds that i put around her but to end the video my boys let me go ahead if you're still with me by the way it's greatly appreciated it means a lot to me i'm i'm happy that you're still with me um and if you're new to the channel you like what you see go ahead and drop a like and subscribe for more content like this um but i wanted to end the video on two expansion supply uh tickets that i have right here just to see if we get anything good uh, maybe if we get another flame sakitama I can go ahead and get some more fragments to get her to that double S rank is what I want to try and get her to. That's been my main focus as of lately. All right, we didn't get nothing there. Um, yeah, so I want to evolve my Flame Sakitama as high as I can go, but that double S rank is where she gets, you know, the most potential output, and that's that sweet spot that you want to get her to. So my focus has been really trying to get her uh, to, you know, as high as rank as possible. So um, that's what that's what I've been focusing on lately because be honest with you okay we didn't get anything but i'll take that advanced skill material i really will um so uh to be you know to be completely honest with you guys my flame sakitama is the valkyrie i'm going to be focusing on the most um from here on out as far as you know making her the best valkyrie i can miko was that valkyrie for me and she still is don't get me wrong miko still has a special place in my heart she always will and she'll fit on a lot of my teams but right now flame sakitama has my love my attention and i'm going to go ahead and really put as much um as much into her as I possibly can pause you guys know what I mean <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and end the video I'm gonna get out of here I hope you enjoyed what you saw and I hope you found it slightly informative or entertaining or both and again if you did go ahead and subscribe like the video and hit that notification bell to stay notified every time I do go live like I mentioned I'm gonna go live probably this Sunday uh, probably around 9 or 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll come out with an official time in another video Remember my next video is gonna be on Celestial Him showing her off and what she brings to the table She's such an awesome Valkyrie and I cannot wait to go ahead and show you guys that video But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do And until next time my boys until next time it's your homie Cody GT and I'm out